In this video, climbers squeeze a dynamometer to find out which of them has strongest forearms and grip. Most of the athletes are masters of climbing sport, but the results of this test were very poor. On average, we got about 70 kg, and for some the result was down to 50 kg, and only one guy lifted 89 kg, which is pretty decent. It means that climbers, despite huge amount of work on forearms and grip, actually increase in their endurance, not strength. Today we decided to find out who has the strongest forearms arms in the history and the most interesting what kind of sport this athlete does. Enjoy my Ukrainian accent and let's find it all out. In order to identify the person with the strongest forearms, we must understand what function this muscle performs. The forearms are divided into flexors and extensors. Some of them flex and extend the whole hand, while others only flex the fingers. There are also pronators and supinators, which makes corresponding movements of the radius, that is a person with really strong strong forearms should have a strong grip and really strong hand. In short, such a person should definitely be able to squeeze a 100 kg dynamometer. Actually, dynamometer is quite curious device and helps what is called not abstractly but mathematically show how strong your forearms and grip are. Therefore, if you want to test your grip strength, I will leave a link to this device in the description. Alright, let's start with bodybuilding. There is an athlete like Frank McGrath with forearms of 50 cm. I wish I could have a bicep as wide as this man's forearms, as well as Gunnar Rosbo, whose forearms reached 52 cm in girth, and Gunnar did 20 working sets on them per workout. This was not the main criterion in the development of Gunnar's large forearms, but in the golden era athletes competed not only in volumes, but also who had the toughest and most extensive training. And the leader of the recklessness of training has always been Ronnie Coleman. Wait, wait. Yeah. who was met at the exhibition by another famous athlete named Paul Knight and offered to squeeze the expander cock 3. And although the start was relatively easy, Coleman still did not close it to the end. Let me remind you that this device has a compressive force of 127 kg. Of course, Coleman was doing it for the first time and if he'd positioned it correctly in his hand, he probably would have finished it. Even Paul Knight wrote about it in the comments. He wanted to explain the technique to Coleman, but he was too busy signing autographs for his fans. However, in any case, muscle size is not directly proportional to muscle strength, especially if you consider that some athletes like to play with Sintol, which means that the strongest forearms we need to look for in another sport. Well, I suggest you to look at powerlifting. I would be glad to refer to the results of Halter Bjornsson, for example, but unfortunately this athlete had a childhood nerve trauma, which made his grip much weaker than it could be. And now, as Halter lost a lot of weight and went into martial arts, his grip is certainly not one of the strongest. My right hand had nervous issue a couple of years back. Nervous nerve. What caused it? They said because of I grew so fast in a short, short period of time that my 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 nerves were um, didn't have enough space. Oh my gosh! I I, I gained around 40 kilo, kilograms in one year. Well then, from the now active monsters of powerlifting, I would distinguish Larry Wills, whom at his best attempt squeezed a dynamometer to 110 kg. I must know that the compress this thing is not the same as any gripper, because in the tension of the grippers it's important not only strength, but technique and anthropometry, that is the width of the hands and finger length, but dynamometer shows exactly how much you squeeze, no more and no less. So that you do not think that everything is so easy, I will show you the standards for this device and the results of ordinary power lifters. First let's look at the table of standards. As you see the average result for men under 35 years range from 50 to 69 and a half kg. I found this video on YouTube where at one of the local championships power lifter were testing their grip power. And as you can see the results were quite poor. On average they managed to squeeze around 50 kg. And only this guy at the end of the test nailed 90 kg. Which immediately made me think that the weight in this case as well as in any other strength sports discipline is very important. Of course in this video we cannot be 100% objective because we do not have absolutely all stars 
because of powerlifting, for example Kirill Sarishev. He demonstrated all the power of compression force on a dynamometer and drove the needle down to the very end. It was 90 kg dynamometer. It goes without saying that his grip gives out more than 100 kg, but we never found out the exact figure, because the dynamometer was not for him, to put it mildly. Then I decided to search for information about John Huck. This lifter set the world record gaining more than 1000 kg in powerlifting triathlon. Being the first person whom with own weight under 100 kg managed to gain such tonnage. Just so you understand, he did 402.5 kg as a deadlift, naturally, without straps. In order to lift such a monstrous weight, your grip has to be of steel. Having searched the internet on Juji Mufu's channel, I found a test of the strength of his grip, and I was very surprised. Long story short, this athlete could not even squeeze a cock two and a half. Just to make you clear, even I can do it without any problem at my own weight of 75 kg. But never mind, John lifted Rolling Thunder, a weight on a vertical bar with a rotating handle, very weakly. 66 kg only. 71 kg he was not able to lift. But again, John was doing a 400 kg deadlift. It gives us understanding that the grip of this athlete is relatively strong, but certainly not the most powerful in the world. And if we are talking about relative strength, there are athletes such as Alec Joch with his anomalous arm, and also there is a hundreds of other powerful athletes. But the strength of their forearms cannot be compared with the athletes of the same size. So we have to look for the biggest competitors and yes, probably in arm wrestling, because these monsters exactly knows how to pump their forearms. And who's the biggest ones in arm wrestling? That's right, Denis Steplinkov and Livan Saginashvili. And if the result of the first one we will not know, because Denis is not in his peak form. And all we know is that Siplinkov could easily crack nuts with his fingers. But this is not enough, we need numbers. And fortunately, I managed to found these materials with Livan. Some Chinese in 2019 brought fairly powerful dynamometer of 140 kg to test the strongest arm wrestlers in the world. And then everything began to fall into peace. Almost everyone had results over 100 kg. Vitaly Klaletin did 122, Yevgen Prudnik and Dmitry Trubin 118 kg each, and at least Livan Saginashvili, a competitor whose own weight reached 180 kg, lifted 127 on his first attempt, though he had never tried it before. Actually, after a couple of years, Vitaly Laletin set his own record and squeezed 156 kg, which means by now he has strongest grip on the planet. And we can clearly state that the strongest forearms belong to arm wrestlers of heavyweight categories. Well, if I missed anyone, be sure to let me know in the comments and make sure to check our full video about crazy power of Livan Saginashvili. With you as always was Fyodor Chepki. See you soon. Goodbye.